Hey, Ivan. Yes, Nick. I found something sitting on the shelf, and we need to talk. Hi, I'm Ivan. I'm Nick. And this is the DIY Detail Podcast. Today, we're going to go over what is C6 ceramics, and what does it have to do with DIY detail? Ceramic coating boxes, logos on the wall, now you're wearing the hat. Yeah. The folks want to know, they've been asking, what is C6 ceramics? We haven't uh, released a lot of information just yet, no. so this is the podcast to let you know what's going on. So, C6 is a sister company or brother company or division of DIY Detail. And C6 Ceramics is the ultimate in ceramic technology. Now, the DIY Detail Ceramics, they're great, they're spectacular. C6 brings it a couple notches above. And it's a professional only product for now. You mentioned our products are excellent. Yes. If you've seen the reviews or if you have DIY detail coating on your car, three, five, and eight year, please comment below because these are robust, super legit ceramic coatings. Right. I'm holding this box as diamond gloss, grade FL, right? Right. I, I know about the company, but yeah. I'd like to explain to others like what is a step up from what we have to offer right. at DIY detail? Like what does that actually mean? Because that has to be pretty elite. Right. The step up is in technology. And if we, uh, you know, go into the automotive world, you have Ferrari that has their Formula One team, and then they have their road going cars. Think of DIY detail as the road going Ferrari and C6 Ceramics as that Formula One team. And like we know, technology from Formula One trickles down to the, the road going Ferrari, and eventually it trickles down into, you know, mundane cars as well. Well, DIY detail. Did you just call this Audi mundane? Oh, compared to a Ferrari, yes. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I just, in the real world. Yeah. Which sometimes you get lost when you're working on cars all the time. Yeah, yeah. I know. These are expensive. They are. Monthly payments, quite <laughs> hefty. Yeah. But I know what you mean. This right. is mundane compared to that. Right. So basically, C6 is the highest pinnacle of technology that is available for coatings at the moment, and will continue to be that. Uh, I have a history and I have a passion for continual improvement and continual research and development. And when we're developing the DIY detail coatings, I asked the chemist a question that led to all of this. And that is, if money were no object, what would a coating be? And his first reaction was, I can make that with a big smile and <laughs> no one will ever buy it. So I said, leave that part to me. But the I can make it, it's basically we're using the DIY detail chemistry very closely, but adding an, another ingredient. And that's where C6 comes from. Now, if you remember back to high school, the table of elements, you know, all 118 of them, C6 is for carbon. And a diamond is the only gemstone that is a single ingredient, and it's carbon. The way we have diamonds in this, and there actually are refined diamonds in here. You call them detonated nano diamonds. Right. And that is a really interesting, fun technology. So take a piece of carbon, put it inside a big metal sphere, then explode it. Pressure, heat converts carbon into diamond. Now, when we're mining diamonds from the earth, that has been done over years and centuries and well, how, more than centuries, but a long, long time of the earth compacting this carbon, eventually making it into a diamond. We use an explosion to do that. Now, detonated nano diamonds by themselves are great, but we go one little step above, and that is refined detonated nano diamonds. So the refining process means they're harvested from the outside of the sphere, they're put into a series of sieves to find the right size that we want, and by sieves, you, know, you, know, you almost need a microscope to see them. Then from there, they are milled. And we want that surface of the diamond to not be shiny like a diamond. We want it to be slightly rough. And that roughness does something to a ceramic coating that no one has been able to do before. And the C6 coatings are a lifetime coating. All I wanna say is I'm on the detailing Facebook groups. Right. People are gonna call snake oil. Oh, they're gonna say yeah. there's so many ceramic coatings, they're all good, they're all the same. Yeah. Hopefully with our three, five, and eight year, you've built up a level of trust that we didn't just go rebrand someone's coating, get them no. white labeled. No. And they were building on that foundation with C6. But 
there's haters out there. Yeah. There's people who deserve to know more information if they're going right. to purchase a coding from one of the installers or yeah. if they want to become an installer themselves. Like, give me a little more meat on the bone oh. in terms of what makes these legit. Yeah, so what makes the C6 coatings different? Like I said, the refined dead and nano nano diamonds. And we'll come back to DIY. Coatings in the past. So coatings have been around for, in the automotive world, 20 some years. The chemist that we work with, or that I've worked with for 30 years now, has been developing industrial coatings for a long time. And the automotive coatings to him are sort of an offshoot. To him, a, a sample is a 55 gallon drum. So doing automotive coatings is a, not a new thing for him, but it's not necessarily his passion. But when it's for new processes and new R&D, and evolving, that becomes his passion. And where the DIY coatings have changed the technology, and C6 just improves on that, is fracturing. Now, you buy a coating that says three year on the bottle. And you know, 15, 20 years ago, and even a lot of coatings today still have that older technology. What happens is fracturing. And your coating, after three years, is still there but it's not performing the way you want it to perform. Now, it could just be contaminated, and that's, you know, we have videos for that, there'll be a link it's down below. Nice wash, decon, put some water spot removal yeah, on, exactly. there, rinse it off, maybe agitate it in before you do that. You might get the beating back. Anyway, check that right. video in the description because there's a possibility, it just needs a, a good decon wash. Right, but you've done all of that, and still, no beating, no sheeting, no gloss. What happens with coatings over time, or what used to happen, is fracture. You're not speaking about DIY coatings. No. I'm talking about you know, other coatings on the market. And there have been a lot of them over many years. There have been a lot of them, and some of them are still using that technology. But what happens is fracturing. And fracturing happens from the hot and cold cycles, the movement of the paint, the vibration, all of that. And the best way to envision this is the desert floor. So once a year, it rains in the desert. That cracked up surface all, become, all of a sudden becomes super smooth because it's wet. And that smooth surface stays that way for a little while, but eventually starts drying out, starts cracking. Now the coating isn't drying out, but what's happening is the ceramic molecules and the resins that hold them start breaking apart. Your coating is still there, like the desert floor is still there, but there's all these little fissures and cracks between them. That's what the fracturing is. Now, in the DIY detail coatings, we countered that using silicon nitride. So in the DIY coatings, we have silicon carbide, we have polysilazane, we have silicon nitride, and we have silicon dioxide, or SiO2. Silicon nitride is something that isn't used in many ceramic coatings because A, it's expensive, but B, it's a different technology and a lot of chemists haven't figured out how to incorporate it. We have that advantage. We have a chemist that has been working with silicon nitride for a long time. What silicon nitride does is it's more flexible. So that fracturing, instead of being a hard glass-like surface that shatters, now it's a little more flexible. And as that expansion and contraction is happening, it's moving with it. So we still have the hardness, we still have the gloss, we still have all that, but now we're eliminating that fracturing, which basically your coating over time doesn't get as hydrophobic, gets a little dull. That's what we've done. So, even though we have the three, five, and eight year names on the coating, uh, if you go back to an older podcast that we did, and I think the link will be down below here, we explain how long they last and why they last. And that three years, because we have graphene in that specific formula, and graphene over time wears away, or doesn't wear away, but it fractures in itself. And then the characteristic that you bought the coating for, which is, I want it to be water spot resistant, that's the main attraction of graphene, slowly goes away. So after three years, eh, it's starting to wane. Our five year is the king of gloss, right? We want gloss. Well, again, after five years, that gloss component of it is gonna go away, and the eight years chemical resistance and all that fun stuff, and after about eight years, that starts to go away. But the coating is still on the surface, and because of the silicon nitride, the fracturing is greatly reduced. Now bring back the refined detonated nano diamonds. And to make this podcast not last three hours, I'm gonna say DNDs from here forward. So take the DNDs and put them in the mixture. Now again, they have that milled surface and they hold and attract all the other components in the coating together. 
plus they attract to the paint. And that attraction in the DNDs makes it so they have a coating that fracturing is no longer a thing. Uh, and we've put it through many, many test things in the lab and in real life. And trust me, that fracturing is no longer an event that happens with this coating. We've been able to eliminate fracturing. That's why we can call it a lifetime coating. And so if folks out there are wondering about whether their DIY coating is now the best and they are feeling FOMO, can you just give them a message? Because we have a lot of loyal viewers who right. have trusted us to put DIY detail coatings on cars, whether it's theirs or customers. Yes, and the DIY detail coatings are still spectacular. You're not, you're not getting a lesser product. What you're getting, though, is a product that's going to wear more over time. And the C6 ceramics are the best possible. But there's one little caveat with the C6 ceramics. If you get a high spot, you're not going to enjoy yourself. It's that robust of a coating. Right. right? That, and, and most people are going to get rid of their cars after three or five years. Or I don't know what the right. ticket is. So for all intents and purposes, these coatings are going to last for as long as you have the vehicle. Right. But there's people out there who want the best. Right. They want the best. So, I've seen high spots right. uh, from C6, Yeah, and you don't want to leave them. No, you don't. Uh, you have one on your car, actually. Uh, I and, wear them as a badge of honor. I right. know that I have a protected vehicle. He installed them himself. So, but and I'm C proud of him. Yeah, the C6 coating, so it is a pro-only coating, and the reason for that is those high spots. The other thing is, is the cost. You know, a lot of people will look at the DIY coatings, and they're a moderate cost, they're a good cost, but this is a little more expensive. So that's where it goes into the professional realm. Yeah, to get it installed on your vehicle from a professional detailer yeah. is not going to be uh, as budget friendly as getting a DIY detail coating and doing it yourself. Let's no, it exactly. Way. But you're getting a lot more for your money. The hydrophobics, so we have two coatings in the C6 line. I just happened to grab diamond gloss here. Right, so diamond gloss is our shall I put it the enthusiast coating, in the sense that your weekend vehicle, the cars and coffee vehicle, the collector car, that's what diamond gloss is for. It gives us the highest gloss possible with a ceramic coating. The other coating we have is C6 Hydro, which as the name suggests, it's uh, pretty hydrophobic. And uh, pretty hydrophobic is an understatement. It's extremely hydrophobic. And the reason for that one, that is great on daily drivers because it's as close to a self-cleaning coating as I have ever seen. Of course, it's going to get dirty, but it's going to take a lot longer time to get dirty and to get clogged up. And that all has to do with the detonated nanodiamonds. And the difference between DIY and C6 is the DNDs. As far as I understand it, being on the back end of the industry now and knowing yeah. how things work, there's all different ways you can build a coating. Right. And the reality is what people tend to want to see the most right. are water beads. Right. And it was like, let's make this the most hydrophobic coating possible. Exactly. Is that kind of the idea that, with, with C6 Hydro? I mean, it's like, I've, I've seen the beading and everything's like, yeah. like okay, you win, right? <laughs> yeah. I've seen a lot of coated cars, this right. is amazing. Yeah, so the durability is there, but also the beading. And to get the maximum beading, we lose just a little bit of gloss. To get the maximum gloss, we lose a little bit of beading. That's not to say diamond gloss doesn't bead, that's not to say that hydro isn't glossy, but we just wanted that little differentiator. And if you put two cars side by side, you may not see the difference. If you put two side by side on a panel, you will see a little bit of difference. But again, it's not a great difference. That's why they're both the same price. So the price point is the same. When you go to your C6 installer, they're gonna ask you what you want. Do you want the ultimate in hydrophobics? Do you want the ultimate in gloss? It's up to you to decide. They're both gonna last as long as the vehicle is, and they're both the same price. There's an idea out there, and correct me if I'm wrong, that we have a lot of really high-level detailers who watch the channel. Yeah. They've followed you for years. They love our products, but there's something about being the guy who's gonna charge a premium price for services and ceramic coatings, and then maybe they're offering it to a clientele who kinda wants to know, hey, what brand are you putting on my car? And they're like, DIY detail, you know, yeah. like it has DIY in the name and they're, 
they're looking for just a different image to present to yes. perhaps like a higher end customer. Right. To what extent did that influence you know this this brand? Not that much, uh, because the DIY brand, you're a professional detailer, you're doing it yourself. You're doing it for a customer, but you still are doing it yourself. So. Oh yeah, there's no doubt these are pro grade products. Yeah. It's just that certain people. Yeah, want to project a certain image, and it's like, oh, I'm using a DIY product. I, right, you know. it's an image. But that being said, the other thing that unites these two companies is the support or the maintenance products and the prep products for C6 are all DIY. As a professional detailer, your customer has bought C6 Diamond Gloss. They're going to ask you, how do I maintain this? Well, sell them DIY detail products or send them to our site. That's basically it. Now, there's another big differentiator in C6, and this is a technology breakthrough that I really enjoyed, and that is our app, Adhesion Promoter Polish. And the app will be available on the DIY Detail website because it works great with our coatings. It actually works great with many other coatings as well. Okay, that's a little confusing to folks. So they've been told to wash, decontaminate. Yeah. More than likely polish. Right. Then after that, wipe it off with a rinse and stamp and towel, then a buff with a dry towel. Okay, it sounds way more complicated than it is. Then you've got clean paint. We want a final wipe down with panel prep before applying a ceramic coating. Right. Now you're introducing something else. So right. don't overwhelm the folks out there. No, what, no. what are you saying with app? What, what so do we the, need to know? Yeah, adhesion promoter polish. And short term or short form, the app, APP. Now, the reason we have an app for that is because there's a lot of detailers out there that sort of ignore instructions. And one of those instructions they ignore is, if you're using brand X coating, use brand X panel prep. And if you're using brand A coating, use brand A panel prep. The other thing is, the panel prep is great. It is the ultimate cleaning. But with C6, we wanted to go over and above. And when I asked the chemist what's the best you can do, this is where he lit up. And he said, everyone has been polishing, prepping, and using panel preps, and that's great, but we can do one better. And that's where the app came about. So hmm. what the app is, is a very mild polish, but extremely deep cleaning. So it's deep cleaning the paint through the polishing aspect. So if you have a brand new car that has, you're satisfied with the paint, you can just use the app. It's going to remove the odd little thing, but it's nowhere near the gold standard when it comes to cutting. So put it on what, a rotary jeweling pad on a palm sander? Exactly. And, and just and just lightly kind of go over every surface. And that's, that's probably a step between I don't want to polish versus like I'm going to put a yellow pad on there and work it slowly and make sure I'm polishing. It's right. probably like an in-betweener step, isn't it? Yeah, for a car this size, it's a 15, 20 minute job yeah, yeah. to do that. But what the app does, again, technology and a, a chemist that is like lit up because someone is actually finally letting him out of his constraints. What the app does, it actually swells the paint. Now. Swelling paint is normally not a good thing. And this is going against everything I've taught for the last 40 years. I'm listening. Yeah. So we're swelling the paint. But in the app, there's a bit of polysilazane and there's a bit of SiO2. What we're doing with the app is swelling the paint but locking it into that swollen state. So now when we install the diamond gloss or the hydro, it's filling in that swollen paint. It's getting deeper into the paint than you could ever do with a panel prep and a regular polish. So would you use app then before applying a DIY coating? Yeah, you definitely can. That's why the app will be on the DIY site. Instead of panel prep? Instead, well, yeah. Your choice, app or panel prep. You need so, one or the other, but so, not both. So you wash, decontaminate. Right. Rinse off your iron remover. Maybe you've used water spot remover. You rinse that off. Yeah. So you've got clean, wet paint. Then I'm going to dry that. Yeah. And then... I could go right to app and ceramic coat? You can, or gold standard, and then the app. So that would be another step right. if you're trying to... And, and what's the difference between applying app and one of our coatings with DIY right. versus gold standard polish, panel prep, and coat? It's going to give you a little more gloss because of that swelling of the paint. So are we filling a little, a little bit? No, we're actually opening the paint. Okay. We're not filling, we're opening and we're locking it in that open state. Those of you that have used primer polishes, there's a couple of companies doing primer polishes, they're very restrictive in the sense of, there's some of them that the instructions are very 
you have to wipe it off and you have to coat between a certain amount of time and there's all sorts of weird procedures. I like to keep things simple. So the app is you put it on with our, uh, our red rotary pad, our red jeweling pad, and a short stroke machine. I like to use a little palm sander. You can use an eight millimeter DA. You can go up to about a 15, but stop there. So you can use something you have if you have oh, yeah. a shorter stroke DA. Yeah. But it's kind of fun to just get one of those $20 palm sanders. <laughs> yeah, it is. If you've never used one before, they're actually no. kind of a joy to use. They're not all created equal. My favorite is the one we found at Menards. Yeah, the it's like the least expensive me. one we've yeah, ever yeah, had. Yeah. And it's my favorite as well. But what the way the app goes on is using that pad. So we're not cutting, we're just enhancing. And one ounce of app will do two of these cars. It doesn't take a lot. And like I said, it goes against everything I've taught for the past 30 years. We're using a dry pad, we're not cleaning the pad. Yeah, I know. And, <laughs> and Okay, and then I w we're working it in and then uh, are you, how long do you work it in? Do you let it sit? Do you wipe it off right away? You can wipe it off right away. You can let it sit on the car. You can go for lunch, come back and wipe it off. You can go home for the night, come back the next morning and wipe it off. It's not time critical. And we're not trying to polish with it. We're just applying it. And the less you use, the better it is. So as long as you see a little trail behind the polisher, there's no need to add more. We're not trying to polish the paint. We're trying to apply this to the paint. And when you've done a whole vehicle, you come back, your pad looks like you haven't done anything with it because it hasn't removed any clear coat. It's swollen, the clear coat that's there, and made it ready to accept the coating. So the app is a new technology that will not only benefit C6 installers, but anyone doing DIY and any other coating for that matter. You can tell there's an integration, obviously, behind us on the wall between bit, DIY yeah. and C6 and yeah. we'll continue to communicate how those two, you know, right. can benefit you at home, even if it's just to know about what's going on. So yeah. And C6 before we, you know, we're more focused on the automobile, automobile part with DIY, but there's a couple other coatings that are really fun. One is C6 Marine. Now Marine is extremely hydrophobic, but has an overload of UV protectors because anything that's plastic, better be it a boat, an RV, side by side, really benefits from deep UV protection. That's where C6 Marine comes in. And the one that I'm the most excited about in the, you know, between Marine is industrial. And our industrial coating takes industrial coatings to a new level. And like I said, our chemist has been doing industrial coatings for a long, long, long time. So getting industrial coating in the hands of people that are doing something, let's say smaller than a battleship, uh, or a cruise ship is interesting to him. So this was, you know, he wanted to get into this market because it really is a, an interesting technology. And it's sprayed on, and I've said many times you should never spray a coating. And an automotive coating, you never want to spray. This one is designed to be sprayed. It's a lot thicker. It's almost as thick as a clear coat. But the molecular structure of it is very close to this. But we're spraying it on, and to become a C6 installer, one of the criteria is proving that you have all the personal protection equipment to do it. Because you don't want a little bit of skin exposed. Not a good thing. But once again, we're doing the training, we're doing all of that to make sure that our installers are safe and healthy. But the other part of the technology is the prep. Just like we have the app for the automotive paint, we have two foaming prep products that will actually dull the paint because with the industrial coating, that's what we want. If you have a piece of machinery that's been sitting in a field for 30 years and it's chalky, you touch it, that's perfect for receiving the, uh, the industrial coating. But if it's brand new, the industrial coating needs something to bite into. And we have two prep products. You foam one on, you rinse it. You foam the other one on, you rinse it dry the machine and then we can start applying, but they will actually create a physical bond or a physical degradation of the paint, for lack of a better term, that now the industrial coating can bond into. So I'm kind of struck by the industrial world. It, it feels a more complicated process and hence is. a professional installer would apply these. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's not something you're doing at home. Uh, it's not something that will be available. Now, there will be a C6 coating available on the DIY site though. 
and that is C6 Hydro Light. And when we say light, it contains a little less of the detonated nanodiamonds. We're not calling it a lifetime coating like the C6 uh, coatings that are professional use only, but it's a coating that will give you the hydrophobics and the gloss out of this world. Now, in the DIY line, we have the three year, the five year, the eight year, the 5.3 stack and the 8.3 stack. And the 8.3 stack up until tried the C6 coating was the top of the line. You couldn't get better than that. We've just exceeded that a little bit. And the C6 Hydro Light will be a consumer available coating. So we've toned down a few of the things that make those high spots a nightmare if you get them. Okay. So still, you won't have fun with the high spots, but it is a coating that you at home will be able to get a hold of. Ivan, folks are gonna be feeling a type of way about this. They're gonna wonder, are we growing too fast? Have we forgot where we came from? Are no. we just creating products to create products? Like, I wanna address that out there, you know? Yeah. Because like, I feel a real connection with everybody who's helped us grow to this point. Yes. And I don't want you to think that we're just like, okay, we grew DIY and now it's on to the next thing. And no, that's no, no, not no, the case no, at not, all. Not at all, the R&D continues. And like I said, you know, the, the Ferrari analogy, this is the Formula One team, and when Ferrari develops a new technology for the Formula One cars, it eventually makes it into their cars, into the Ferraris, and eventually into a Fiat. So that's what we're doing here. We're using C6 as the, the R&D arm, if I can put it that way, of DIY detail. Now, we have more than one chemist on staff. So we have different chemists working on different things. The R&D portion of DIY still continues and we're still gonna continue to innovate and bring new products and improve the products we have. This is part of it. But this, the C6 line is for the professional detailer. I come from a background of helping and supporting professional detailers. Something I've done for the last 40 years and building businesses is a passion of mine. So wanting to help detailers grow their business, scale their business, and improve their life through better products, through better processes, and being able to charge more for things that are worth more, that's the genesis behind C6. We're gonna put a lot more time and resources, obviously, into the DIY Detail YouTube channel. Yes. But C6 has a YouTube channel as well, yeah. and if I understand it, yeah. there's probably a really good video folks could watch from that channel. Right there? Right here.